So everybody's upset about this woman becoming, uh, getting chosen to, you know, play the next Cleopatra. Why are people so upset about this woman playing a Cleopatra role? Why? I mean, say, who is Cleopatra anyway? For them to be so obsessed about making movies after movies after movies about Cleopatra, that tells me there was something wrong with Cleopatra. There had to be some flaw in her character. The bitch was compromised. That's why they love her so much. You know what I think? I think this bitch collaborated with the enemy. That's why they love her so much. It's all of the country. I think this whore here, Cleopatra, couldn't wait to for uh, Mark Anthony to get off the chariot so she could start twerking. She's a fucking traitor. She should have thrown, they should have thrown this bitch in the Nile so the crocodile could tear her fucking ass apart. This fucking sling draws champion. Talk about Cleopatra, Cleopatra. Oh, fuck Cleopatra. But you all see the hypocrisy though? Everybody see the hypocrisy? They have problems with her being Cleopatra. They're saying, you know, this is cultural appropriation. You know, they're turning a black woman white. They're stealing our black history, our ancient Egyptian history. But you all aren't having a problem turning your own selves white, do you? You know what they really want? They want a black woman pretending to be a white woman playing a black woman. Now wrap your head around that one. Yeah, that would really fuck up your psychology, wouldn't it? Look at this. It's a black girl gone white. Just shave off that melanin and get that white thing going. Yeah, look at her. She's speaking her truth, isn't she? She's really speaking her truth right here. This is who she is. I mean, say she's not really trying to be black, is she? Huh? Is this a look at this picture? Is this a black person person trying to be the bastion of blackness? Yeah, but y'all have a problem with Cleopatra. Them choosing a white woman to play some half breed. That's what she was a fucking half breed. Treat her half breed at that. Never liked her. And never will. Yeah, they can have her. And they can have these whores too. We try to be white. Have all of them. Keep them. You know, they've been digging up Egypt since they got there. This is digging up the fucking place. They strip the place. Beer. They just strip the place down. Strip the pyramid. Build mosque with the. Oh, Jesus, man. Every five or ten days, they find a new tomb. They're just tomb raiders, and they're just digging up, searching for shit, you know, defacing the place. I mean, so the theft is just mind-boggling. And, you know, they, now they, they, they cut off places. They, you can't even go into certain areas because they're going into these tombs, and they're changing everything. They're changing the hieroglyph. They're changing the painting. I even saw somewhere where they're trying to they're going to replace the nose and the sphinx. The sphinx. They're going to ch put the nose back on. They're going to have the sphinx looking like uh, Pinocchio and shit. This is just theft of history, theft of everything. But people are worried about some Cleopatra. Of course, if you th steal everything, then you have to make a movie to support it, right? And, everybody, and, and the only thing people are worried about is some whore. Y you know why they're doing this? Because they're hiding some shit. This is a way of deflecting your attention, see? Yeah, they gotta do that because the theft is so bad, they gotta make themselves feel good. Yeah, that's a way of lying to themselves to justify the pillage and the murder, stripping of a culture. No different from the Tarzan movie. Everybody remember those old Tarzan movies? Some. Johnny West Miller on the motherfucker swinging from some vine in Africa. What was the deal with that? And it's always, you notice a propaganda always take place after they either raid the place, right? Because they, they, they uh, colonized Africa for so long and just stripped the place blue. 
And then they have to leave you with a movie to deflect your attention, see? And they come up with Tarzan, some big, strong guy with the animals swinging from limb to limb. And he can hardly talk, he just makes sound. Couldn't even speak English. He's up there with the animals. I've always thought there was some bestiality going on with that. There was, that Tarzan guy was always suspect. Walker, swinging with his little cut off thing and his knife at his side and he's living with some animals and he has, he's a lord of the jungle. You know, I don't like jungle. I don't like cluster stuff. Ghettos and jungles I don't like. Too many unknowns. I like open spaces, savannas and shit, where I can see in front of me and around me. Yes, my friends, plains and savannas. I'm also into beachfront properties. Yes, I like having a panoramic view of life. But some of you motherfuckers like swinging from vine and shit. Y'all even do it in theaters. What's the deal with swinging from vines and shit? Is this a way of returning home, reconnecting with the primal energy, that raw sexual drive? Yeah, Tarzan just like hanging out with the animals in that hot, steamy jungle. Yeah, Tarzan is singing from vines in the jungle, while Mandingo is swinging dicks in Europe. Yeah, you can just see Becky backing that ass up, swinging from the chandeliers. Stretch eager, holding onto the bedpost. Take me, you big black African man. Stretch me out and take my land. Hey, well, all this time, Tarzan is swinging from some vine. Swinging on some vine in the fucking jungle. Can you just imagine? Can you picture it? Damn, the imagery is so clear. Jane visit Tarzan. Yeah, Jane visit Tarzan for the first time. And Tarzan said to Jane, Jane nice to visit Tarzan. Jane good girl. If Jane want to stay with Tarzan, Jane must first fuck Silverback Gorilla. Me Tarzan will fuck his girlfriend Mumu. Clear. Patra, get the fuck out of here.